Thank you all. Thank you, Professor Yang. Thank you very much. I am very happy to be in the homeland of uh, great religion in Shatter, Mircealiade. Uh, in the morning, Professor Dr. Giovanni Casadio mentioned it about the past of the human uh, transhuman religion. I will mention about the future of tr transhuman religion according to religion Wissenschaft. First of all, religion Wissenschaft in the German uh, study of religions. Uh, thank you to uh, thanks a lot to um, Petazzoni, uh, Bianchi, and also a very important person, a Romanian great uh, religion Wissenschaftler Eliade. Uh, our researchers, as an independent discipline, uh, getting uh, some contributions from uh, contemporary economic, uh, moral, scientific, and social sciences, um, uh, but uh, mainly on focused on theologies. Uh, it provides a rich intellectual, cultural context under its wide comparative methodological framework in order to uh, focus on the uh, dimensions of religious beliefs, rituals, and experiences within their historical developments uh, uh, now along with their technological, trans digital technical uh, uh, transformations in mankind. In this respect, this field can create some critical, analytical um, anal uh, insights on human religion, a transhuman religion. In this paper, uh, in this presentation, I will examine the transhuman definitions of religion given to the phenomenon of uh, religious facts, uh, religious um, uh, concretes, unlike traditional beliefs in terms of historical comparative phenomenological approaches, which increasingly transform the discipline into the most developed study of religion. We also, uh, I will also try to present some composites of the transhuman religion, such as post-secularity of the holiness, as well as uh, some transhuman tra religious matters and spiritual problems that arise in this sense. Today, religious phenomena consisting of theological uh, homogeneous elements such as God, scripture, ritual, uh, uh, dogmas, afterlife, etc. Uh, shaped by the tripartite elements such as divinity, rights, and experience, uh, these are gaining more and more objective and concrete forms, transformed forms. Uh, but the, we can say all are humanized and transformed to be uh, explained with within human categories, not theological categories. Um, so these anthropological elements are reflected in more multiple widespread and close relationship with heterogeneous cultural, cultural devices, such as art, uh, morality, worldview, uh, folklore, civility, customs, etc and even by re uh, removing the boundaries between them and to be reflected as pragmatic forms belong to, the, the, uh, to daily life and everyday knowledge theories. We can 
uh, categorize uh, as a taxonomy, as a science of taxonomy is history of religions uh, can classify uh, transhumanist religion as three uh, dimension in a three dimension transcultural intellectualism as a uh, intellectualism, there is transhumanism, and secondly, transhumanism as advanced humanist researches, and uh, third, as a third dimension or third type, we have the uh, transreligio movements, a new religious movement, like, and so uh, I want to uh, make uh, some uh, divisions. Uh, all uh, transhuman religion, such as transhuman theology, uh, and then uh, transhuman uh, experience or killed, uh, 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 totally the mystic dimension. Transhuman theology as a belief system uh, uh, implies the possibility of divinity agents being uh, different from traditional beliefs. However, according to this changing belief, the divine agents or superpower beings in question are not beyond nature, supranaturam, or in the sense of unnatural being. Rather, they are now extraordinary and completely imaginable and tangible natural forces with nature, for now they are imagined to act above human capacities and fa faculties. So for transhumanism, sacrasy no longer indicates supernatural or metaphysical beings as the thinkers of uh, enlightenment as insist or say, but new uh, counter uh, initiatives such as abnormality of the normal, super no, uh, supernaturality of the nature, as well as the superiority of the human being. Uh, this is very interesting, uh, and uh, these are uh, always focused on uh, in the, the uh, transhuman uh, religion. It has a posthuman uh, hermeneutics, which has gained it a more secular form in this respect, and stands out, stands out as an interactive and ecological fluid uh, or religion in flux. Uh, having a human narrative reading, far more uh, profile style than that of traditional hermeneutics, and it uh, pursues a narrating fiction in which the reader becomes more provocative than ever or even extremely disturbed. Interpretive, interpretative actor in the text. So the reader is the uh, most important one. Cumula his cumulative uh, understanding of religion, uh, even far uh, from the uh, main idea or main themes of the uh, author. Within this uh, character, the post-human reader intends to see him or herself as a real uh, narrator or even a new author uh, by pushing multiple flexible meanings that are completely independent and autonomous from the author. Uh, in, this, uh, in this sense, transhuman transcendence gains meaningfulness within a substantial and evolutionary context along with the belief that it is possible to go beyond the ordinary powers of material world only with the, uh, with the most powerful and complete human device. So, in conclusion, 
for transhuman theology, some advanced beings will include the future forms of humanity in the post-human through a fellow truths uh, far from stereotypical structures such as religion, spirituality, or belief, and even unlike the current dialogue, dialectic, uh, dialectics of polytheism and monotheism, or origin of religion, thanks to the uh, northern American schoolers, <laughs> we must say America, including Canada, and uh, so. Giovanni Casadio will allow this thing, I think, in, in, in practice, I must say that. And uh, the trans uh, another category or subcategory in, in transhuman religion, transhumanism does not intend to have any form of dramatical, dramatic uh, or uh, stereotypical rituals such as seen in traditional uh, religious systems. On the contrary, it seeks to build a world of common meanings or a realm of symbolic representations in transformed art forms that have the concepts of ritual and visual media elements such as icons, avatars, images, songs, meta movies science fiction, no, literature, etc. The traditional rites in the transhuman cults are always suspended or dead or, uh, or reconstructed. In this system, dynamic uh, perfect rituals aiming to transform the existing earth into the newest, mo the most perfect and advanced multidimensional forms along with a well-designed community in non-denominational sense. The third one is transmysticism, uh, the, the uh, sub-divisions of the transhumanism. Uh, in the ex eschatological, or sartoriological, as Christology, we believe, or you believe, you, uh, the Christians, believe, uh, also, we believe also. Uh, eschatological vision of uh, transhumanists, there are deep visions and meaningful predictions that go beyond the optimistic uh, scenarios of the traditional eschatologies in the context of improving themselves, their societies, as well as the world they built in multi dimensions. These predictions give human, the transhumanist triple mystic, mystical experiences similar to the religious one, such as madness, ecstasy, and trance. New ones, new concepts. Now, some conclusions I can say uh, um, as new shifting prospects in religions, this is shot. Uh, free with critics, not uh, static take caretakers. Uh, for the historian of religions, meta visions based on advanced technologies and vital um, suggestions for the direction of human race that can be sustained by improving the current cosmic order can lead to an understanding of healings oriented uh, towards the perfection of the visible natural world, completely different from the classical religious uh, sense of absolute devotion and re reverence to cosmic grandeur and extraordinary beings. Uh, it also leads mankind uh, to experience a high mystical pleasure and immersion in, in, in utopian uh, virtual worlds. Uh, B. At this point, transhumanism will be able to change traditional religions, biological uh, science uh, subjects, uh, especially uh, infinite uh, space, human cloning, 
evolution and technological perspectives based on the digital digital worlds, uh, or it also may provide new lower centric milieus where humans can reevaluate their conceptual agendas. A new dictionary, a new agenda will will be created, will be invented. Uh, so uh, I want to pass more. Uh, uh, based on, on this uh, concept of transhumanism, um, the religion is intended to be as a distinctive form of belief system more in flux, well equipped, the progressive, the transparent, the challenging, and the most critical outlook for the all religious systems, so very enemy, very big enemy, and a common enemy for traditional systems. And um, the last, uh, as the last one, I can say, with the concept of post-humanism and transhumanism, uh, and you created uh, superhumanism has now gained uh, a secular identity that belong to human beings, uh, giving new meanings which make humans uh, strongest in the kingdom of the living things. Thank you very much for listening.